What's up guys, this is FrostViking9 and today I'm bringing you a how-to tip in GTA Online to be a better robber of stores, how to do it more effectively. So what you want to do is go into single player and go to online session and go for invite only session. There's a reason for the invite only session because you tend to find if you go into a public server you get a lot of randoms and the only objective they currently have is to play team deathmatch against each other kill each other and just take their money so basically what you want to do as soon as you're in the invite only session jump into your private car or any other car it doesn't really matter and there's two things that you're going to need for this first of all is mask second of all it's a helicopter so I'm going to show you guys on the map here. You can see now basically where I'm going with the mask. And for those of you who don't know, this is the icon for all the stores that you actually can rob. Um, I think there's about 20 of them. I'm not sure. You can go up with this and you can see how well these, all the stores that's located. You can use your D-pad left and right and it will actually jump around between all of them. So you can see which one you want. So first of all, I'm going to go to where you can get the mask. So... Here's the location that I'm showing you now. You can put a waypoint there. It's close to the beachfront. And that's the first thing you need on this. Is actually just to go drive there, fly there, do whatever you want to, and just go and purchase one. So I'm just speeding this up. I know there's um, a lot of uh, YouTube videos currently out there on how to money glitches, and but usually they get hot patch so quickly. So this is the normal old grinding method of just getting money from either selling cars every 45 minutes in real time or actually just robbing stores but you get achievement for this as well and you get some xp points as well so here i am at the mask shop and there's a lot of masks to choose from depending on your preference and your budget so basically buy any mask it doesn't matter which one you can buy go for the cheapest one anyone is effective just buy it and i'll show you quickly actually as soon as you buy it you already have it on like my nice paper bag here so what you want to do is to go to your inventory and go to accessories and then you will see the one thing that says masks. Then use the d-pad left or right and then you will see it will be equipped or it will be unequipped. And all the different masks that you already purchased will be available there. That's step number one. So the next thing we need to do this is to get your hands on a helicopter. Now there's a couple of places on GTA Online where they spawn. I'm going to show you one way I constantly find the helicopters and there's a couple of them available. So on the map, just scroll to the right and you will see this is close to the boatyard. This one piece of chicane, if you can call it that, um, it's a small one-way street. Just press it and just drive there. If you don't find a job that side, you can also go to the airport. They usually spawn there as well. Okay, so don't make that turn. I just didn't couldn't make it. So you, what you want to do is just drive in here and you will see there's a chopper usually on the right side or somewhere on the left hand side. It's a helipad. There's a couple of choppers that's usually spawning in here. If you don't find anyone, um, just drive around a couple of blocks, come back. You usually will find one. So that's the second step. This is all you need basically now. If you're not familiar with flying, please take this for a spin, get familiar with it um, because you're going to need to know how to fly this thing and land it and everything. So what I'm doing now is I'm going for the first available store that I um, had on the map. So what you want to do is just park it outside in the road so you can have easy access to it as well. Okay, now you go back into your um, option screen and go and equip your mask that you just have. Basically, you don't want to be on the FBI's most wanted list for knocking off all the convenience stores, so equip this. You can do it without it. It's your preference. Um, it usually helps to remove your wanted stores. Now, as you, as you go into a store, there's two things you need to consider. Um, you will see now, as soon as I pull the gun on this guy, you actually have to intimidate him. Now, you can see on the right-hand side, there's the intimidation bar. You have to get this up as quickly as possible. Now, you can do this if you're not in a party chat by just yelling random stuff, ranting through the microphone. It will pick it up and they will basically think um, you're threatening him and he will do it quicker. The other way is what I just did there is just shoot random bottles and everything in the backside, trying not to eat them. Um, and then you just run out, you've got the cash, and you will see I've got a two level star wanted level and basically just take off and go now um, there's a couple of reasons why i'm doing this with the chopper so basically your xp 
you're increasing your XP quite quickly with this. Um, also with your flying skill as well. And you're making cash in the process. So what I'm showing you here now is as soon as you're airborne, you can disable the mask. It takes away one of the wanted stars. But as soon as you equipped it again, it will actually bring back that uh, wanted star again. So um, if you do it, don't do what I just did. Just leave it off. But you can do this without. And you see it's so easy to lose the cops in the chopper because they... Um, First two stars usually don't have their own um, police helicopter and um, it's easy to evade them. Okay, now I'm on to the next door. So also much easier just to um, fly than drive all the way there. Same routine again, put on the, the mask if you want to. You can do this without the mask, it's not necessary, uh, but I'm just doing it for the guys that don't know. And as always, look left and right before you actually cross the street. Okay, and then you go inside. Now the second option what you can do is you can pull the gun and you can shoot this guy straight. Um, then what you want to do is go behind it and go to the cash register and then you can remove the money yourself. You will see already that I shot him. It, I'm sitting on a three star now in any case. So now I'm definitely going to have some choppers on my ass as well. So same principle again. You can run out. You can remove the mask now if you have time. You will see it will drop to two stars. Um, I'm not going to do it now, um, so I'm just going to, I'm pretty decent with the chopper, so I can just evade them as far as I go. So just be mindful of where you're flying and don't fly into anything, um, otherwise you will die instantly. So we'll see, um, as soon as I fly around, okay, I'm losing the cops again, and I'm getting some more XP boost as well. I'm getting seasick with all my uh, going left and right, but that's all part of the fun. Okay, third chop. I'm not going to spend too much time. You basically see the whole principle of what you're supposed to do. Either yell at him if you're not in the party chat or shoot the bottles or you can just shoot the shopkeeper. Uh, there's something you have to be mindful. I tried it in this video, but he didn't do it. As soon as you try to keep your gun aimed at him while you're leaving the store, because you actually get some of these clerks that will pull a gun as soon as you drop your weapon and they will either kill you or injure you badly. And then when all else fails, um, flying around, always head towards the beach side. If you're on top of the ocean, um, the cops tend not to follow you because basically the line of sight they lose and the choppers usually don't get there. And as soon as you've got all the cash now, which is what you want, go to your phone, go to the internet, go to the bank or the money and go to your maze bank at the bottom and main menu and deposit. Because if you die or you go into other lobby, this will be the cash in, in hand. And as soon as you die, basically, someone can actually collect the, the majority of that money. So I hope you guys enjoy this. And please try it because this is actually uh, much quicker than actually driving all the way and finding the stores. So I hope this uh, video helped you guys out. And um, feel free to leave a like, comment and subscribe to my channel.